faculty are worried that students are using ChatGPT or a similar large language model AI program to write their papers for them. One way you can check and see if your students are doing this is if you collect your assignments through Canvas and you ask students to submit a link to their Microsoft Word document or their Google document. To set this up in Canvas, just create an assignment. We'll call it Final Essay, just to make things easier. And for the submission type, change it to Online, and then ask for a website URL. Go ahead and put in the other details that you need, the instructions and everything else, and save and publish it. Students who write their documents in either Google Docs or Microsoft Word Online will also include the revision history. And let me show you what that looks like. When I open Google Docs, for example, Pretend this is a paper I'd prepared for my final essay submission. So I'd written all of my contacts in here. What I can do is I could submit this by saying share. Now your university, anyone with the link can edit and then copy the link and submit it on Canvas. I switch into the student view. I can start the assignment and I can submit that link. If you have Google in enabled in your course, you can also have Google Drive or Google Drive LTI 1.3 assignments as well, but just the link will work too. You could say attached is my final essay and submit the assignment. Leaving the student view here, if I go back as the instructor, I can check out that submission by going into SpeedGrader. navigation to the URL. And once in here, I can say file, version history, and see the version history. I'm actually going to hide this side window here just so you can see it a little bit better. And all of these different edits are collapsible. So if I wanted to see like the actual writing process, I can click this and see what the document looked like on April 2nd, 2023, if I wanted to. So all of these were edits made by me. So it can see if I copied and pasted anything, what it looked like at one point, and then how it was different the next day, because the writing process is, of course, recursive. If you don't like Google Docs and you'd rather receive a Word document from your student, remember all of our students get Office 365 accounts online, so you can still collect Word documents in this similar fashion. Let me show you what that looks like. I'm first going to reset this um, student view here just so that I can wipe out this submission and submit it again. So I'm going to reset my student submission. All faculty have the ability to do this too, um, if you ever just are curious about submitting your assignments as a student. So I can see that the test student has been successfully reset. So now I can do that assignment again. And now I'll put in a Word document. Uh, to access Word, you go to portal.office.com. I'm going to browse for one that I've been working on recently. Say so this is, pretend this is my final exam. So the student crafted their assignment in Word online. They can similarly go to share. I'm going to actually go to share just to show you how you can manage the access as well. You can copy the link, but you want to make sure that you also change it from can view to can edit. So students have to make sure that they're giving you edit access. They can apply, copy that link. Again, bring it over to Canvas. I have that link copied and I'm here in Canvas. I'm going to go back to the final essay. I'm going to say start assignment again. And now I'm going to paste in the URL to actually that Word document. Again, the student can put in a, a comment if they want to. They don't have to. And then say start submit assignment. Again, more confetti because we submitted on time. I'll also leave the student view here and show you what the faculty will see when they get a Word document that's an online submission and how they can check that revision history. So if I leave the student view. I see that the submission's in here. I can go to SpeedGrader again. What we've often found is that Microsoft doesn't necessarily always work. If you click on the link here, you'll get this sort of sad max saying it's not going to connect. That's okay. You can still come back. You just need to launch it in a new tab. Some things work well within Canvas. Some things have to be pushed out into a new tab. I can still access my student's submission. And to check the version history in Microsoft Word, you can click on here and then see version history. And again, you can pop out the different um, edits and you can see the previous uh, versions if I want to see what I did 40 minutes ago um, and what I looked 
looked at currently. This one is one I just started working on, so there's not a ton to see here. <laughs> uh, but you can again see minute by minute the different changes that I've made. Another nice feature of collecting Microsoft Word online documents is you have the editing tools. And in the editing tools, one thing they have is a similarity uh, checker. It's good, it's not great, but I can check this paper for any online sources that are similar. So it's running the similarity checker for me and it's sort of seeing did I copy and paste from a website or anything like that. This was all Rachel's writing, so there's not much there. But this can help you check and see if there is how your students moved line by line through their papers. You might be curious to know what it would look like if a student did use ChatGPT or a similar program to write a big chunk of their essay. So I opened ChatGPT just to show you. If I put in the essay prompt, explain the role of clowns in Shakespeare's tragedies, ChatGPT is writing me an essay here. Um, a student would probably ask them to recraft this into like a standard essay. So they might say, please rewrite in a narrative essay format. There are many checks you can do to see if something was written by AI. For example, AI loves doing lists of three. I don't know why. Um, so those are kind of tells you can start to look for. But so perhaps I'm a lazy student and I'm like, yep, this what they wrote seems great. I'm going to just take it all. I'm going to copy it. In Microsoft Office, I'll create a new Word document. Paste it here. You can check the similarity score, but I'm going to tell you right now, the similarity checker is not going to work for checking for AI. Um, it may find a few things if ChatGPT like scraped um, a database or something like this, but you can see it's AI is original writing. It's just not the student's original writing. So I wouldn't rely on that for detecting AI writing. I'm a lazy student. I'm going to go ahead and just share this without even reading it with my professor. I'm in Canvas and I'm ready to submit my quote unquote final essay. So I will start assignment. I will paste that URL I copied from the Word document. I'll submit the assignment. Leaving the student view, I'm gonna go into SpeedGrader. I'm gonna to click to view Rachel's submission in a new tab. And I'm going to view the version history. You can see that I've only worked on this document for two minutes. And I can see the modification two minutes ago was nothing. And then the most recent one, one minute later, was all of this text that came in at once. And it's all in red, showing that this was done at one time. So the fact that all of this was crafted in two minutes gives you a pretty strong indication that this was copy and pasted from another source. Collecting students' papers either through Google Doc links or Microsoft Word Online links will also give you the students' papers version history, which can be helpful to review when looking for any AI writing.